welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica, and today's video is going to be another check-in for my Def Leppard panning project, Let's Get Pan. Now, I did create or help to create this panning project with Deb, also known as Deb B, and Andy from Andy Does Stuff. I will link their channels in my description box, of course. This is so fun to be a part of this panning project, and it is a fantastic ladies collab. So I was doing my check-ins every month, but I will be honest, uh, the views for my Def Leppard panning project videos are not, not good. Uh, and so I just kind of felt like maybe doing it every other month would be more fun for people to watch. Maybe it won't be. I don't know. Uh, Andy and I kind of checked in about that and we just thought it would make more sense to do it every other month. Deb is taking a break from filming right now. She's just taking care of herself. Uh, we miss her dearly and hopefully she'll be able to come back on to her channel soon and catch you up on where she's at with her Def Leppard panning project. But, you know, she's kind of taking a break for right now, which I completely understand. So let me explain the premise of this panning project. If you've been watching my check-ins, you already know what this is. Uh, but basically, the three of us just love Def Leppard. And so we came up with 24 prompts. Uh, based on 24 song titles from Def Leppard. And the goal is, is that uh, you grab a makeup product that corresponds to the prompt that corresponds to the Def Leppard song title. Uh, you can do this by bringing all the products in all at once and setting usage goals, or you can do it like Andy and I are doing it, which is a ro roulette style, almost a roulette, roulette style, where we pull in five products at once based on the prompts and song titles, of course. And then we set usage goals. And once we've met those usage goals, then we roll out products and roll in other products based on the prompts and song titles. Okay, so let me grab my products because they're kind of back here and I'll read to you what the song titles and prompts were and tell you about my usage goals for the last couple months. Okay, so the first song title with the corresponding prompt is Animal and that is a cruelty-free product. And for that, I grabbed the e.l.f. Contour Palette, and I used this shade right here. Well, I could use pretty much any shade I wanted to. I think I did use this. I did use this one like two or three times, but these two primarily is what I used. Now, my goal is to always use a product at least 10 times throughout the course of the time span, which is typically a month, but now I'm doing it every other month. So my goal was to use this 10 times over the past two months, and I ended up using it 15 times. At my last check-in, I had used this eight times, so I wasn't quite ready to cycle it out. And between that last check-in and now, I've used it a seven, I've used it seven additional times, so a total of 15. So this I can cycle out, so that is awesome. The next song title with the corresponding prompt was Foolin' Item You Loved but ended up hating or vice versa. Now I grabbed this. This is the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink in the shade 30 Unrivaled. And this is a lip product that I used to love. And then, I don't know, I don't hate it, but I don't love it like I used to. I feel like the formula has just gotten very strange and very weird. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna use this 10 times. I used it twice, use it twice. And I just, if I don't love something, I'm not going to continue to use it. I just can't do that. I tried, but I don't know. Every time I'd go to reach for this, I was like, I just don't want to use it. I know that you're supposed to really shake it up good before you put it on your lips, and that does help. But I don't know that a lip product, honestly, is right for me for this padding project. Because I just use different lippies so often. So um, I am going to cycle this out. Uh, I probably should try, well, maybe I won't. Actually, no, I won't. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab something else for that prompt for the next go around. So I tried, but I just could not use this 10 times. Just couldn't do it. Number three is bringing on the heartache, and that is an item you love and can't replace once it's gone. And I don't know, you pro I probably could replace this, but I just know that I will never repurchase this. This is the IBY Sunkissed Blush. I didn't purchase it to begin with. I think this came in like an Ipsy or something, or maybe a boxy charm, or maybe I actually I think it was an ice cream beauty box, and I used it 14 times. So that's awesome. I, I really enjoyed playing with this. It's a really pretty blush, nice pink, you know, very standard blush shade, I would say, but it worked really well. Super pigmented and blendable, and I really enjoyed it. I just probably won't repurchase 
I didn't purchase it to begin with. I, I won't get it again. Okay. Number four was Pyromania, a product that's on fire. It's actually, the prompt is a product that you want to set on fire. Other than that lippy, I don't really have a whole lot in my collection that I want to set on fire. So I changed it a little bit to a product that is on fire. And I grabbed the Josh Cosmetics highlighter in the shade Luna. This was gifted to me from Steph. And it is so blingy and so gorgeous. And I used this a total of 10 times. So that's awesome. Once I hit the 10, I was like, okay, I'll start pulling in other stuff. And I don't, I haven't been putting highlighter on my face a whole bunch. But this is stunning. And this is an indie brand that I don't really hear anybody talking about, but really enjoyed playing with that highlighter. And then the last song title with the corresponding prompt uh, is Unbreakable, product with sturdy packaging. And I grabbed the Revolution Beauty Cream Bronzer because this is really hard. Like I have to keep it like a little bit open because it's really hard for me to open. I know that sounds dorky, but I love this product so much. This is in the shade Light. And this is, my stomach's growling, I apologize. This is my favorite cream product I have in my collection for sure. And I use this 13 times, so this will be cycled out. So everything's getting cycled out, but I will be keeping the Foolin prompt. I will do that. So let me grab my other sheet here, my little cheat sheet with all the song titles and prompts, and then I'm going to pick four more. So there are two prompts that I have not used yet. I haven't pulled those two prompts into my panning project yet. So I'll grab those two, and then I'm going to keep fooling, and then I'll randomly select two other song titles with prompts here, okay? Because I've used them all now, right? Yeah, that's, that's great. Okay, so the first one I have not used yet or haven't pulled into the panning project is Rock of Ages, an anti-aging skincare product, okay? And then the other one is Too Late for Love, which is dupe a product. Let me start over. Too Late for Love, dupe a product or palette that you missed out on. Okay, so I've been avoiding this one because I don't know enough about dupes to say, oh, this is duping this other product. I just don't. It's just not something that I pay attention to, that I'm aware of. I mean, I hear people saying, oh, this is duping this and this is duping that. And that's wonderful. It's just not something that I care about. N not that I... Well, that, maybe that's, I just don't do it, right? I don't, I don't know. I don't ma re retain or maintain or contain or whatever, tain that kind of information. So instead of doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a product that I missed out on, but then was gifted to me from a friend. I thought that would be a way to do this, I guess, just because I don't know. Uh, Foolin, again, is the item you loved but ended up hating or item you hated but ended up loving. I'm going to grab something for that. And then I need two more prompts or song titles. Uh, so let's just start off by going with Armageddon It, something you would save if the world was ending. Okay. And then another one is uh, Hysteria, a product that drives you crazy, good or bad. So what I will do is I will go and round those products up. Uh, well, I'm going to have to do that at the end of my day because I need to get out of here and go to work. And then I'll come back and show you which products I am pulling in for this next go round until my next check-in, which will be what in November. Okay, cool. And I will have a Def Leppard t-shirt on for the outro part of this video. So hang tight. I will be right back. Okay. So it is the end of my day. I came home from work. I threw on my Def Leppard t-shirt. I do have my Def Leppard slippers that are getting ready to go onto my feetsies. And I have chosen my products for the next go round of the Def Leppard Let's Get Panned panning project. And I'm going to show you guys what I chose for the song titles and prompts. Okay, so the first one was Foolin, right? And that was item that you loved but ended up hating or item that you hated but ended up loving. Um, I can't really determine that in my collection, but I do have a product that I used to use all the time, loved, and then I just stopped using it. And I really want to use it again because it's a great bronzer. And it's this one right here. It's the Maybelline City Bronzer. And this was the first bronzer that I really like fell in love with. And I've had it in my collection for quite some time. It doesn't look weird. It doesn't smell weird. I think it's fine to use. And this is in the shade 200. And my dear friend Alinka, she has a channel here on this platform. I'll link her channel in my description box. Go check her out if you've never checked her out or subscribe, show her a ton of love and support. She's amazing. 
I have not watched one of her videos in way too long. I'm trying to work on that, you guys. I really am. I just, it's hard because I am really busy. Anyway, she was the one that uh, turned me on to this bronzer. And I just love it. I just haven't used it in forever. So this will be pulling, be pulled in uh, for the prompt for Foolin'. Uh, the next one was what? Let's see. Let me flip this over. It was Rock of Ages, which is an anti-aging skincare product. And I grabbed this. This is the anti-aging from Reventin. This is uh, the Crepey Skin Wrinkle Smoothing Cream. I got this at TJ Maxx. And you don't have to just use makeup for this. You can use whatever you want. Lotion, hair care products, whatever. And this has just been sitting in my bathroom on the counter. I haven't used it yet. And I thought, why aren't you using this? So I'm going to use this. Uh, this also says it uh, rehydrates dry skin and plumps the look of fine lines. Targets crepey skin, loss of tone and wrinkles with vitamin E and shea butter. So we'll see. Do you? We'll see. I don't know. Should I drink it? Just kidding. Just kidding. Okay, the next one is too late for love. Dupe a product or palette that you missed out on. I, like I said, I'm not good at that. I don't know what's duping what. I think that is such a cool thing when people can figure that out. But I, I don't know. I'm just like, whoa, I just don't pay attention. So like I said, I just grabbed something out of my collection that was gifted to me that I didn't pick up on my own. And I'm going to use or pull in the Scooby-Doo Highlighter Palette from Glamlight. And my dear friend Grace, Gel Beauty 87 she sent this to me a while back. And it's just been patiently sitting in a drawer. And this is absolutely stunning. It's got like kind of like a pinkish cast. And this one has like, what, a greeny yellow, I think. So this is going to be really fun to either use, you know, obviously as a highlighter or in my inner corners. I really would like to try a highlighter as an eyeshadow. I've never done that before. So you never know. Maybe I'll do that with this. I don't know. Then the other one or the other prompt was, hold on, let me flip this over. It's on the other side, was Armageddon it, something that you would save if the world was ending. And I am going to grab this. This is the Mad Witch Cosmetic Scorpio Hot Blush Palette because I would definitely grab this if the world was ending. And I've been using this like crazy. I just want to keep using it. So I felt like this was perfect to pull into this uh, panning project. And uh, the, the blushes I really focus on are these two. And I really want to get use out of the other ones too. I mean, I've used them all, except I don't know if they have it. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, that's my goal is to use all of them, right? And then the last, is that four? Yeah, the fourth. So one more, hold on. And then the last item is Hysteria, a product that drives you crazy, either good or bad crazy. And I'm gonna grab my Sky High Mascara from Maybelline New York. I'm loving this. I have this little one and then I got, I did get myself a full size tube. Uh, of course, I wanna use this up first, but I have used the full tube. I, dumb, dumb, but I have it. So yeah, these are the five products. This, 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 and this. Okay, so these prod products, blah, 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 these items will be in the panning project in this rotation until November 25th. And my goal is to use everything 10 times. I, I'm sh I will have no problem doing that. Uh, but I also like want to continue to use and just see how many more over 10 can I get? Because kind of what I'm doing or have been doing sort of with some of these is as soon as I get to the 10, I just stop using it. But, you know, let's keep going and see how many. Yeah. So let me know what you think of the products I chose for this go round. And also, do you want to do this too? Do you want to do the Def Leppard panning project? Wouldn't that be fun? We got a whole league of Def Leppard lovers yeah, to do the Def Leppard panning project. There's several people that are doing it along with Andy and Deb and I. I love that. So, uh, yeah, let's chat about it in the comment section. And you can tell me what you think. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your lives to sit down and watch this video. If you're new here and you enjoyed what you saw, please consider subscribing, smash the like button, and of course, comment down below in the comment section. I love to chat with you guys there. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I cannot wait to see you guys again in my next video. But in the meantime, please take very good care of yourself. Be well, safe, happy, and of course, I'll see you soon. Bye. Drop it.